called radical trachelectomy, where only a fraction of the tissue is removed. Studies show it may cure cancer while preserving fertility. Probably about half the women that have had this procedure have tried to get pregnant, and of those that have attempted pregnancy, Two-thirds, 70 percent, have actually become pregnant. Danielle was one of them. She had to postpone getting pregnant for a few more years to make sure the cancer was gone, but it was more than worth the wait. From the get-go, they kind of told me, you know, we've caught this early enough, we're going to be able to take care of it. It was just what route I was going to have to take. That was NBC's Dr. Bruce Hensel reporting. Well, speaking of your health, this is the time of year when temperatures fall, expenses rise, and many people struggle to stay warm in their homes. So what do they do? They often turn to extreme measures and in many cases put their own lives at risk. Dr. Lindell Weaver of the director of Hyperbaric Medicine at Intermountain Medical Center joins us live from Salt Lake City with tips on how to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, Dr. Weaver, thank you for joining us, number one. Uh, number two, why is this such a big problem? Keith, uh, thank you. It's a pleasure, uh, and I appreciate the invitation. Well, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning is the most common poisoning in America, and it results uh, occasionally in death, unfortunately, and considerable damage and harm. And of course, when it's colder, we're using more heat sources. We operate equipment indoors, and anything that burns gas, diesel, propane, any fuel produces carbon monoxide. So that's the problem, is people mm -hmm. breathe carbon monoxide. Just yesterday, I was on call, and I took two calls about carbon monoxide poisoning just in the last 18 hours. Wow. And if, and if you're a family member, if you're a friend, you're around a loved one, uh, what are some of the symptoms they can exhibit of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning? Sure. Well, common symptoms are headache, nausea, vomiting, confusion, don't feel well. Mm -hmm. Well, one might think that's the flu or something. But if there's no fever and if several people are getting symptoms at the same time or small pets are getting symptoms too, getting sick, then one must really think about carbon monoxide. So in order to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning, have the heating system inspected annually and I, you know, I can't really endorse any particular manufacturer, but a carbon monoxide alarm, like you see here, mm -hmm. with a digital display, is very, very helpful. Uh, alarms even come smaller, like here. This one detects very low levels. It's on the internet. These kind, Costco, Walmart, Home Depot, Sears, I mean, they're sold all over the place. And I urge the public and you, Keith, and your family to purchase carbon monoxide alarms. And it's a small expense, of course, for such a major issue. Carbon monoxide poisoning, the most common po sign, uh, kind, I should say, of poisoning. Dr. Lindell Weaver, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, switching gears now. Uh, you can see long lottery lines this week. Uh, no ticket matched all six numbers drawn in Friday night's Mega Millions lottery drawing. So the jackpot has now grown to $550 million. Not so bad. NBC's Kerry Sanders reports with strong ticket sales, it could become the largest in U.S. history. Lucky woman. Buy a ticket today and tomorrow night you could find yourself $550 million richer. I mean, why not? A couple extra dollars and look at all the money you could win. What's up, America? It's possible, but did you ever stop to wonder why nobody's won the mega jackpot in 21 drawings? It's because in October, after an anonymous Maryland family won $189 million, the game got harder. You used to have to pick six.